Hello viewers, welcome to Earthquake Disaster Movies. We have unbelievable but amazing natural phenomenon stuff for you. Learn about earthquake history, its destructive force and the impact on people and the world economy. So be here always. We have amazing stuff of your choice. Before moving ahead, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. Many are afraid just by hearing the word when we say earthquake. Although many nations experience earthquakes regularly, such as Indonesia, Japan, and Nepal. Today I'll reveal the information about those earthquakes ever recorded on camera in the 21st century based on the magnitude level, which will make you feel scared after seeing these below. So watch the video to the end. Number 6. Mexico in 2017. Magnitude 7.1. In 2017, there was an earthquake in Mexico City and the state of Puebla, Mexico, and Morelos. 248 people were killed due to a building collapse. The earthquake with a magnitude of 7.1 injured over 6,000 more. Power poles were downed, streets were closed, public transportation was disrupted, and much more. Mexico was severely impacted because it is the busiest metropolis, and practically all private and public schools were also damaged. At least 361 persons were reported dead nine days after the earthquake. At least 74 persons were killed in the state of Morelos, 220 in Mexico City, 45 in Puebla, 13 in the state of Mexico, 6 in Guerrero, and 1 in Oaxaca. The bodies of 26 kids and four instructors were recovered from the wreckage of the Enrique C. Rebsamen School in Mexico City. 30 students and 8 adults were unaccounted for as the evening of September 19th. The Monterey Institute of Technology and Higher Education's Mexico City campus were damaged, and at least 5 persons dead and 40 injured. More than 6,000 people had been reported injured by the day after the earthquake, with more than 300 confirmed dead as Mexico earthquake rescue attempts proceeded. On October 1st, the number of individuals known to have died was reported to be 361, with over 4,500 injured. Prior to the earthquake, more than 6,000 complaints regarding building breaches had been filed in Mexico City. Many of those structures collapsed during the September 19th earthquake. Following the earthquake, the Secretariat for Urban Development and Housing, SEDUVI, did not answer requests for information on complaint responses. Local activists have accused the construction system of being completely corrupt, claiming that some developers violate building codes and that city officials regularly dismiss concerns. Monica Garcia Villegas, the owner of Colegio Repsamen in Mexico City, where 26 people perished, including 19 children, when the building fell, were found guilty of culpable murder in 2020 for neglecting safety rules. The prosecutor in Mexico City requested 57 years in prison. Eight foreigners were killed, including four Taiwanese women, a Korean man, a Spanish man, a Panamanian woman, and an Argentine male. Cecilia Suarez, an actress, was hurt while filming The House of Flowers in Condensa, Mexico City. Number 5. Alaska in 2018. Magnitude 7.1. Using a centroid moment tensor inversion of the W phase, the earthquake had a moment magnitude of 7.1. The focal mechanism demonstrates that the earthquake was caused by normal faulting. The best fit to the reported seismic waveforms is a fault dipping at 29 degrees to the east. The depth and mechanism are compatible with faulting within the Pacific plate as it moves downward. This suggests that the earthquake occurred within that plate rather than at the plate boundary between the Pacific and North American plates, under anchorage. This is a distinct mechanism from the region's megathrust faults, which occur on the plate boundary. The Pacific plate faulting is caused by downward bending as the plate is thrust under Alaska. Over 80 aftershocks of varying magnitudes were recorded throughout the day, with at least 3 exceeding magnitude 5.0. By December 3rd, 170 aftershocks with magnitudes greater than 3.0 had been recorded. On February 6, two further aftershocks struck, the first with a magnitude of 4.1 and the second 23 minutes later with a magnitude of 3.7. Aftershocks were projected to last for roughly 300 days following the main shock. 
Severe damage was reported to many buildings and a highway overpass near Ted Stevens Anchorage International Airport. There were no fatalities, but at least 117 people were hurt, most of whom were treated for minor injuries such as cuts, bruises, or nervousness. Some residents suffered broken bones, and one man inhaled acute smoke while attempting to extinguish a post-quake fire at his home. According to the Kanai Peninsula Borough School District, all children are safe. Number 4. Venezuela and Trinidad in 2018, magnitude 7.3 a powerful earthquake struck Venezuela's north coast, rattling buildings as far as Caracas' capital. With a magnitude of 7.3, the earthquake struck the city of Carupano, an area of poor fishing towns. It was felt in neighboring Colombia and island countries such as Trinidad and Tobago. According to the governor of Sucre State, there were no reports of casualties in the area at first, though the Venezuelan government reported no injuries there were reports of injuries in a shopping center in Cumaná, close to the epicenter where an escalator fell. Later, five people were confirmed dead after suffering heart attacks due to the quake. Nestor Riverol, the interior minister, insisted there had been no fatalities. Number 3. Nepal in 2015. Magnitude 8.1 The 2015 Nepal earthquake was large, also known as the Gorkha earthquake with a moment magnitude of 7.8. The initial shock occurred shortly before noon local time. About 6.11 a.m. Greenwich Mean Time, its epicenter was around 21 miles, 34 kilometers, east-southeast of Lamjung and 48 miles, 77 kilometers, northwest of Kathmandu, and its focus was 9.3 miles, 15 kilometers, underground. Approximately 9,000 people were killed, many more were injured, and over 600,000 structures in Kathmandu and surrounding cities were damaged or destroyed. Number 2. 2015, Chile. Magnitude 8.3. The earthquake occurred on thrust faults along the boundaries of the Nazca and South American plates. The region is prone to strong earthquakes, with 15 other of magnitude 7 or more significant occurring within 400 kilometers of the epicenter in the last century. The last major quake in this region was the 1943 Ovalle earthquake, which had a magnitude of 7.9 to 8.2. There were 15 fatalities and 14 injuries. It did not kill many people, but it did signal a tsunami with an earthquake magnitude of 8.3 on the Richter scale. As a result, 1 million people were evacuated from affected areas, with the majority of them suffering from power outages due to the tsunami alarm. Number 1. Japan in 2011. Magnitude 9.1 At 2.46 p.m., a magnitude 9.0 earthquake struck. The epicenter was around 80 miles, 130 kilometers, east of Sendai, Miyagi Prefecture, and the focal occurred at a depth of 18.6 miles, nearly 30 kilometers below the seabed of the western Pacific Ocean. The rupture of a portion of the subduction zone linked with the Japan Trench, which separates the Eurasian Plate from the subducting Pacific Plate, triggered the earthquake. In terms of magnitude, Japan saw the most significant earthquake and tsunami in the 21st century, with a 9.1 magnitude that broke all previous records. It caused more damage to ports, dams, electricity, oil and gas, and even nuclear power plants, which were shut down and were in danger. There were 15,894 people killed and almost 2,500 people missing. The footage above makes you scream because of the two massive buildings swinging like toys. I hope you enjoyed the video about the largest earthquakes ever recorded on camera. Do subscribe to our channel, place your remarks about superb video in the comment section, and never forget to press the bell icon for upcoming exciting videos.